So, how do you build your timeline? I'd like you to consider that the actions in which you perform today will decide what will happen to you tomorrow. And how that works is that there are containers in which you fill during the course of your day. And these containers is the space in which you occupy. This is not time. This is space. And what you do today decides what gets put in these things. Okay? So if you sit at home all day and sleep or watch TV, then your influence and participation is going to be very minimal and therefore it'll be easy to see how your pattern is going to change the world itself. It'll be very, very low. We won't see much. Okay, you won't see much because you're not sending ripples out in a way that others can respond to them. Okay? You're giving your energy into a device. So you are in a constant cycle. So those containers are easily full and there's not very many of them. As opposed to, let's say that you're somebody who, you know, gets up in the morning, <clears throat> makes breakfast for the family and then heads off into work, makes 25 phone calls there, you know, um, heads over, sees three clients, whatever the case may be, goes over to the mall with the kids. Your influence is, is growing. And so your, your containers, your probabilities are increasing, you know, and the more participation that you do, the more advanced your containers become. And this is the essence of potency. This is where the Trinity warrior takes things and turns them inside out because it takes anything active and destroys through its understanding of how it became, where it's from. So it's the pressure and it's where the future lives. It's potency. So, when you want to look at purifying that, you take the passive and make it active. So you purify through testing. You rinse and then you repeat, right? Because these things come in threes. So test, rinse, and repeat. And this is your evidence. This is the past. It's where the past exists. This is like where time becomes your friend because it's your filing system. It's where you put everything, right? It's like, okay, so I slept that day, so my temperature wasn't very high because I didn't really do much. I didn't cause a lot of friction, so I, I didn't do anything there. But I did go to work this day and this day, man, there's so much that happened that day. You know, I did, you know, I met all these people and, you know, I got a hug, um, you know, those kind of things. And so, so that temperature has risen on that particular day. So now that influence is percolating into the world. Memories are being created. Experiences are happening. And all this energy is around now. And you participate in that. That's why the moment is here, okay? So your evidence is in the purification process. That is where time is. And your potency is where pressure exists. And that is where space, you provide a space for that to exist. And the probability is you wanting that and continuing on with that. And you can follow that through your life, okay? And the more you do this, the easier it becomes, right? Because anybody can learn these type of practices. And therefore, it, in the beginning, it takes a lot of energy and you're sweating a lot, right? You're like, oh man, this is crazy. This is hard. I, this is too hard. That's good. Pain, pain, pain is growth. Grow, oh, get in there. Do it because this is what you, what you are on, on the electromagnetic level. Your magnetism starts becoming cooperation. 
within the aggregate system. And then your electricity becomes the amplification of your local environment. And then the now is the differential between all things and is sound. Subscribe or like, I'd really love to hear your views. Cheers.